Okay, it's spring 2014 and we're here with another spectacular 6115 final project. Go ahead, introduce yourself and tell us what you made. So my name is Hannah Jadani and I've made a strobe, a mini strobe water lab. And what's happening here is that I've constructed this polycar box uh, using the laser cutter in EDS and I put it together and it surrounds the speaker system and two LED panels. So what's happening right now is that the speakers are um, are oscillating at a fixed at a default frequency of 80 hertz and the LEDs are strobing at 80 hertz. So what's happening is since their frequencies are matching up, the water droplets appear to be stationary. And do you want to try moving that a little bit so we can yeah. see if it goes up and down? Go ahead. So you're going to vary the, the water disturbance rate. They're going up now. Right. So right now I am decreasing the frequency of the speakers. So it should appear as the water droplets are rising. Right. Now it's the default frequency of 80 hertz. So the frequencies are matching and yep. they should be stationary. Now the frequencies have increased. So the water droplets should appear as if they're falling. That's exactly what's happening. Now I'm going to pull back for a second. Hold on. So I can show your whole setup here. Okay, and can you pull the scarf off of it? Okay, now why don't you um, go ahead? So, uh, so this box, you've machined all the pieces for this, yes. right? I've machined the pieces for this. I laser cut these lovely letters. Right. Um, in at the EDS. And do you want to explain the theremin action? I'll yeah. come over there and photograph. So you've got your PSOC controlling all this, right? Okay. So my PSOC is displaying the frequencies of the speakers. I'm controlling the speaker frequency using these sonic rangefinders, and I've also um, converted the proximity of. Do that again slow because we can hear it uh, changing in the box, right? Yes. So, I've so that tone is what's making the water droplets change their rate. Right. So I've uh, synced various different audible frequencies to different distances. Right. So that's exactly what's happening. It's acting like a little theremin. Cool. Outstanding. And I can change the uh, duty cycle of my PWM that are um, strobing using my key press. So right now it's a very small duty cycle so, so you can see the droplets better but if I increase the duty cycle um, you should be able to see larger streaks. Definitely can, yes. That's outstanding. Here, let me pull back for a second. There we are. Okay. Thanks. Brilliant final project. Thank, Thank you. you. Ingenious.